Excuse me, Mr. Englishman. Could I trouble you for a banana? Ah, uh, no. I bet you're wondering where Larry is. He was a little tired after the last show. Junior Asparagus has very graciously agreed to help out. Hi! We're using our imagination. Ah. Now, God was very disappointed in the Israelites for not following his directions. So he told them that none of them could go into the promised land for 40 years. You're kidding me. Nope. By the time 40 years had gone by, <laughs> Moses had died. I thought this story was about him. No, it's about Joshua. Joshua? Who's he? Well, he was Moses' helper. When Moses died, Joshua became Israel's new leader. Do I know you? I'm the narrator. Oh. Was finally time. It's time? It's time? Did he just say it's time? Here's the Israelites were finally... He overlooked one little detail. Jericho. about a little boy and his three faboos. The little boy who had a thick fabu, a fad fabu, and a mute fabu. And also a hippo. Um, um. You call this a multimedia event? Actor and a bed sheet. Oh look, there's me and Bob at SeaWorld. Oh wow. Ooh. Forgot about that one. This is quite disappointing. Who are you? These are the children of Israel. Oh, hello, children. Hi. It was nice to meet you. Now go away. Yes. God has given us this land for our new home. So, well, you're going to have to leave. Oh, <laughs> then it'll be cancer. Says we have to leave. I'm a cucumber. <laughs> tiny picker. Yes, tiny picker. I'm a cucumber. Uh, oh, ooh, my slushy. We should go back to Egypt. Don't you remember? Snorkeling in the Nile, three square meals a day, plenty of exercise. Oh, it was paradise. We were in slavery. Nothing is perfect. And the only way we're gonna get it is by taking out that wall! Right, Jerry? Uh, yeah. That, that's right, Jimmy. Yeah. Joshua didn't know what to do. I'll be right back. After he had gone a ways, he saw a strange man with a sword. Well, Josh realized that this was a messenger from God, so he immediately fell face down on the ground in reverence. Oh, all right. I come with directions from the Lord. Great. What are they? Well, have fun. They thought it was interesting, too. I'm sure that would work great. Let's call for Egypt. Who's coming with me? How are we clapping? I have no idea. Um, I think we're forgetting something. Ahem. What are you doing? We're going to knock your wall down. By walking around in circles? Yes. You silly little pigeon. You... I've got slushy in my ear. Well, um... Time Things were really falling apart this time. Josh needed to do something, and quick! Junior? Wait! 
Wait! Dad gave you directions and you're ignoring them. Tomorrow morning, Josh and I are going back out there to march around Jericho. Oh, now God never said it would be... Fire! Just like God had told them, they marched around Jericho seven times while the priests blew their horns. And just like God said, when they finished marching, the priests blew one long blast and then all the people yelled. our imaginations. Oh. We're over here by QWERTY to talk about what we learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. And God has a lot to say. I'll be right back. What? Not so fast, Tomato! Yes, we love that song! You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take a look. Remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Is it time for the show? Oh, nuts.